up in this world. Huss. Huss. Unique fashion. Huss. Elam Road. Huss. Shout out to my Huss. boy E. Keep it going. Huss. This for you, boy. Huss. Boy, I got a unique Huss. Check it, check it, check it. This is a unique house. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the official Miss Jamaica. Walk on. What's going on? Not none. We got a special guest in the house today, y'all. Say, man, I'm gonna tell you something. When I first set out to deal with a podcast, say I, I wanted to hit all genres, baby. And the blues, come on, man. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm a blues man. Go back and look at my post today. You'll see. I talk that blues real good, <laughs> man. Check it, man. Sir Charles Jones is in the building, man. What's happening? What's happening? What's going on, baby? Hey, I love your clothes, man. Nah, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I know you love because you blessed me, man. I, I love the way hey. you came in. Hey, man, it's just a, a, a honor and a pleasure to be. And, and you know, if, if somebody was living under a rock, you know what I'm saying, and didn't know who Sir Charles Jones is, tell us a little bit about who, who, who what is. Who is Sir Charles Jones? <laughs> well, Sir Charles Jones is one of the youngest living legends. Okay. Ooh. That was brought through the tutelage of all of the older legends and paid respect. And they gave me their blessings. And now I'm blessing all of the new young comers now and continuing the legacy of blues and Southern soul music. Man, you know what? You... You help me out a lot and don't even realize, baby. I know you hear that a lot. Yeah, I hear, nah. I hear it a lot. You know what I'm saying? A lot of, a lot of people come to me <laughs> and tell me I say their life. So I stop them from drinking. Say, man, you They did. made their babies up. Oh, you, oh, you the baby making. <laughs> you took over Keith Sweat spot, actually. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? You bridged the gap. Bridged the gap with it. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's kind of like getting a lot of the two legend ideas from Keith Sweat. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, Keith, man, that's the biggest beggar, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> what do you want you to beg for it, you know Yeah, you got to beg for you it. You got to beg for it a little bit, man. So, you know so tell us how, how you got into music. Just, just just run us down through that a little bit. Well, getting off into it from my parents, you know what I'm okay. saying? My mom, she was a uh, preacher for 25 years, and then my father was the lead singer of a gospel group called the Christian All-Stars. So... <clears throat> When when I look around, man, I ain't gonna lie. When I thought when blues was really, you know, I was I was set on Johnny Taylor, and I, I remember when 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 I was set on Johnny Taylor, I was set on Lil Milton, I was set on like I said, Clarence Brown, I was set on all of these different folks before you came. I'm just right. gonna be real with you. Right, I'm an older cat, so they don't they the wave. Pay. And then when I and then. All of a sudden, I hear this dude, man, and I'm like, this dude too young. When it first popped off, <laughs> I said, this dude too young to be singing blues to me. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm, I, I'm used to hearing them growl like Bobby Blue Bland or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. I had to have a snorkel or something. I, now, now, then I looked around, and, and, and the song that really just took me by storm was this Friday. Because I used to have Lil Milton, you know what I'm saying? Everybody got a holidays, right. some got Christmas and New Year. But right. every Friday is mine. I got 52 a year. Right. And then I turn around and this guy comes with his Friday. <laughs> with Friday, man. To save the day because it's like almost. What made, you think, what made you think to do that song? Well, you know what I'm saying? I, I hadn't really in a long time I heard a song where I said I wanted it to be a classic. You know what I'm saying? And everybody on Friday, the only thing, is, you know, you got people out there working hard. And after that clock out. It's Friday. I can go get my whiskey, man. I ain't got to worry about going to work mm -hmm. tomorrow. I'm fit to get ready for the club. I'm do. I said that. So I wanted to put all of those entities into one song. And then at the same time when I was making it, I wasn't really thinking about that. I was just making a song called Friday and didn't know the magnitude of how this was going to blow up. Now I'm getting invited to NFL football games and big time gigantic NFL stars inviting me, flying me up to look at them in practice. In the locker room, jamming Friday. I'm like, this song is real heavy. You know what I'm saying? It is. It Friday is. is a bigger record than Anybody Lonely. Listen, man, mm -hmm. Anybody Lonely bad, though. Right. Don't play now. I know, but I, when you, is when a you way need more that thing now, it'll scale up on it, a bad time. It, 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 it'll scale it'll up. It'll scale you know? up now. Don't try to play like it, it won't scale it, up. Yeah, nah, Friday saying, might I, be I, bad. I now, Friday is a up. good time, but but it's a, is Anybody Lonely will scale up on it. Anybody Lonely, like, far as the fan base, It'll, 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 it, it takes the cream. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I would say Friday, far as an international record that somebody from Saudi Arabia might walk up on you and sing your song to you yeah. stretches out a it, little it, it'll bit. It'll pass. Wow. It, it goes all the way over. It, it to goes all the way over, man. Yeah, and and yeah. like 
uh, Jason Peters, the offensive tackle for yeah, yeah, yeah. the Philadelphia Eagles. Yeah, yeah, straight out of East Texas right. where I'm and from. Shout my, out to Jason man, Peters, baby. That is my best friend in this that, world. Hey, tell it, hey, they bought him bought shoes off the truck come, oh, it, from this store. Man, hey, yeah. hey, <laughs> you know, I'm going I'm gonna, I'm gonna to call him when we get finished. And, man, when he flew me up to Philly, and i always been a Philadelphia Eagle fan. I got to get him on here. I just thought about hey. that. It's, uh, it's done. Enough said. It's he's done. Like, it's done. Wow. It's, it's done, man. Like, I, and, he was just at the condo. Oh, yeah. The condo oh, we Sunday. know. Oh, we deal with a lot of the same people. He, he right there. For, I'm from, I graduated Lyndon Kill there. So he oh, right man. there in Queen y'all, City. Y'all, y'all, y'all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He right, I know exactly <laughs> what he's doing. Uh, but but the thing I can say about you, man, you say anybody alone, I'm going I'm to I'm grab one. one. Oh, man, I just can't right. let go. Right. Just can't let I go. I just can't let go is the one that, yeah. boy, I don't know what you were going through. Is that a lie? Or did she really? Uh, it was, or was it your homeboy? What happened on, on that thing? We really turned that <laughs> that song into the record company of like Charles. We like really what happened? We can't put this on really tape. You know what I'm really? saying? Really. And so they made me kind of twist it up, turn it kind of different into a love story. But I'm going to, to my brother reveal. Okay. Okay. The ECO. ECO and, and the official Miss Jamaica mm-hmm. get the I'm get the exclusive. Y'all, get a, y'all better put your ears on. Y'all get an exclusive on this, and this is the first time I ever said this. Man, in a 25 on year now. career, boy, 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 just can't let go. Came about. Uh, I fell in love with a woman, and uh, Greenwood, Mississippi. Okay, Greenwood. I was living in Jackson, Mississippi, and we was in love with each other, and. I caught her up and then uh, like, hey baby, how you doing? And she was like, baby, I'll tell you what. And it was Friday. She was like, uh, I ain't got to work uh, uh, this weekend, so why don't you pack up some clothes and come down? We're going to kick it, spend time with each okay, other. Okay, right, okay. Right. Like, yeah. Let's do yeah, it. Let's, let's do, do it. it. You know what I'm saying? I'm excited. I'm so coochie with, man. I'm, I'm talking about going to the rent. <laughs> nose wide open. Bro, bro, my nose was so wide open, bro. <laughs> Uh, it's not what it came out. <laughs> so next thing you know, I done got in the car and, and, and got a ticket on the way, burning up okay, my car. Okay, okay. Where was that when you got that ticket? In uh, Yazoo City, Mississippi. Boy, Mississippi wow. got me one time coming out oh, through that boy. They'll they, get you. They now. will get you, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but but so so what happened? So by the time I get there, I never forget. I checked in uh, a hotel. You know, Greenwood is the Delta. It's really country. Okay. So back then, 25 years ago, wasn't no. Hampton Inns and Holiday Inns and okay, all that. You know, okay. you had those little box Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The small ones right down the side of the road. On the side of the road. Where the cars park <laughs> inside, right. just in the front. You can see everybody's car because it's in a little coat of sack. Right. I know exactly what you're talking yeah, about. So it was what called the Travel Lot <laughs> Hygiene. <laughs> what we got, well, uh, I checked in the room. You might can get it for two hours. You can get it. Uh, well, you got to hook up with with, 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 my, with my Arabian brothers, you know. So they yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. They got okay. the two hour special. And uh, they gave me the uh, the weekend the special. The weekend special. He got the weekend. I got the weekend special, man, and a uh, uh, discount from the radio station. Oh, okay, wow. okay. That was special. So next thing you know, she came, uh, she called me, and she was like, baby, uh, it's my lunch break time. You know, why not come over and give you a quickie? Okay, yeah, and yeah, like, quickie. Yeah, that's yeah, sounding good. On, give me a quickie. I'm, at, I'm ready for you. I'm, like, ready for anything. <laughs> ready. She probably could have spit it in my face. <laughs> and she came over and gave me a quickie, bro, and... Next thing you know, buttons flying everywhere. And yes, sir. Juice and all kind of stuff. So next thing you know, when we get finished, you know, the first thing you do is go take a shower. Yeah, yeah. You, you put to. on that little uh, that little lotion. Yeah, and that yeah. Little that, yeah, it's a little bit of water. You be back yeah. uh-huh. about thirty minutes uh-huh. later. And, and a uh-huh. white folks conditioner in there. Uh-huh. If you don't uh-huh. never do nothing with the conditioner because the conditioner ain't really it ain't for us. But right. we, hey. we we'll look at it. But do you? We don't yeah, use that. Don't See, nobody don't use a conditioner. No, nobody place. use that conditioner, bro. <laughs> Hey, hey, I'm going to tell you another story about the conditioning, too. <laughs> Calvin Richardson was going to kill me about this. One, but I'm going to tell it. And so next thing you know, we get finished, take a shower, put the lotion on, and she be like, like, what you want to eat? And I named the traditional things. Yeah, you know, Southern yeah. boy like to yeah, eat. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. she be like, okay, I got that. I'm going to go back to work. And next thing you know, uh, I'm going to come and pick you up. I'm going to go home and I'm going to cook for you. I'm yeah, like, yeah. okay. No sooner later, bro, she opened the door. Here comes some big old dude. Walked in the door, three fifty seven, bro. Ooh, one of them big silver ones. One of them old yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. With that's the guns, one right bro. there. You don't want to deal that'll with. That hurt you, bro. You, you know don't want to deal with. You I, don't want to see that. I, oh my God. Was you sitting on the bed or was bro, you sitting on the bed? Oh, that's waiting, not good. Waiting. I'm waiting. And I'm just sitting on the bed, just waiting. And the perfect view for the bullet to just do his yeah 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 just JoJo dance yeah you know what I'm wow <laughs> and I was like he gonna kill me yeah yeah and I'm just shaking and then at the same time trying not to shake 
So, so you don't show the, right, the fear. That the fear, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I think he was kind of picking up that I wasn't showing the fear. Mm -hmm. But in the side, bro, I'm talking about. You was, you, you was nervous as hell. About to I'm jump out. Bro. Your heart about to jump bro, out your chest. How do I be that name? That King Kingdom Come. You trying to get your last right. in there. You get that one right okay, there. That's going to take you all the way. I'm going to pay, pay my tithes. On all Sunday. that. You're going to do everything right. Church. Everything. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> And uh, he came in there, what the hell is going on? What oh, yeah, he talking rough, 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 talking rough. rough, rough. And uh, he looked at me, what's going on? Quiet. <laughs> Church house, like, mouth, like, quiet. What you want me to tell you, man? You know what I'm saying? I, I and like, she wasn't there? She was in there. Yeah. Oh, she was in there. And uh, I, was like, I was like, bro, both of us seem like we caught up in a situation where we don't know really what's, what's going, going on. on. Said, yeah. So how can you ask me that? See, see that you know brother, you, you, you out of Ohio? Where are you from yeah, originally? Yeah, I was born in Ohio. Born in Ohio. Okay, but, but, but then you moved, you got slick and went down to Birmingham. Went Birmingham. Birmingham. So Birmingham that's why you learned that game. Right. The okay, game. come so on with Birmingham it. came yeah. out of me and be like, <laughs> I better really kind of go Alabama on him. Yeah, yeah. And, and get tough with him a little bit. Yeah, you know so yeah. And that was helpful. I'm like praying he didn't shoot me after I said Yeah, 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 yeah. So next thing you know, you can tell this girl sex was so far. Yeah. If it make you put a gun down. He put it he put it down. She said, Let's leave out of the room away from Sir Charles and maybe I'll go talk to you. Oh, oh man! I, I said I'd be damn. I said he probably didn't know who I was. But, but he got you. He, he, she got him just like she got you. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And, and come to find out, she this, she was she engaged come, she to this come dude to beach. and everything. And she calmed him down, and 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 he said, "Oh, so this Sir Charles, oh anybody on little punk?" Oh yeah, that hurt. Ooh, that hurt. Right that, that that was, wow. listen, listen, man, that made it worse, really, nigga. Man. You, nigga, you just can't let go. I bet I, man. he could have <laughs> called my great grandmama a punk. I wasn't finna say nothing to that three fingers. <laughs> How did you end up getting out of there? Man, he walked out. She calmed him down, and he was like, "Okay, let's go talk." And so I'm thinking in my head, I'm like, "This girl." Really got to have some great sex to make you put a gun down and go out. I'm like, dude, I could have killed you or called the police and told them you just walked in and assaulted me. Yeah. And he didn't care. And she walked out first. Leave me in there with him, bro. Wow. I said, ain't this about up. She just walked out. Walked out. And she had just that much control. But she didn't have this much control. The dude turned around and looked up. He said, you think I'm a damn fool on it? I knew then. <laughs> I was sit there die, bro. I said, here it come. I said, Lord, I said, just tell my kids, my mama, yeah, I Yeah, 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 it's and over. Here it come, right there. Here come that pop. But you talked your way out of it. And oh, she talked your she way out of it. She talked me out of it. Like, she she saved my life, really. And and he said, he said, you think I'm a damn fool, don't you? And I said, no. I said, I think you caught up into a... A trapped up situation like I am. Yeah, yeah. I said, man, but I'm tired of all of this shaking stuff. I said, do what you got to do, man. Yeah, yeah. And he said, he said, you used to really think I'm a fool, do it? And he pointed the gun. And, bro, I, I, it's like everything went numb inside of me. Yeah. It's like I was preparing myself for it. Yeah, you yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and he said, but you know what, Charles? I just can't let her go. And walked out. Oh, oh man. Oh, that's oh, man. That's oh, and that's what and that's me, how you I, named the song. The song I just can't let go. I man, just we can't the let her go. Up, oh wow, God. man! Now let me tell you a conditioner story. Oh yeah, oh, that wow. just can't let go story. A hey, beast. Hey, that's a beast. That's yeah. a beast. Let me hear about this conditioner because I don't have no. I know about the conditioner. The conditioner story. Okay, one day uh, it was me, Omar Cunningham, and Calvin Richardson. Okay, he gonna kill me for telling <laughs> this. And. We doing a big time video shoot, and the video shoot started at my 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 mansion in Atlanta. Okay. So we was doing the first scene, and that thing you know, Calvin didn't bring his lotion. Okay. And just so happened, he was like, "Bro, let me get some lotion." I'm like, "Go look in my room and get some lotion." <laughs> he picked up my girlfriend's conditioner. Oh. <laughs> I'm talking about done did this. Wiped it no, all. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That boy got that. That boy, hey, that boy got soap suds hey, all over his face. And we look, he looking like Casper the Friendly. Yeah, 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 it's a white everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. White yeah. Everywhere. He said, bro, this ain't white. And I said, it's food is conditioner. That boy smell like a white folks hair conditioner. Hey. I know what he smell I'm like. I said, your skin gonna be clean. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, let me ask you, man. So, so new projects, man. What, what, what's been the thing oh, lately? Oh, wow, man. We just did. We did my new album entitled Intimacy. Okay. And it's really doing well. And okay. And I said now, 
to I want to retire at 50. I'm 48 oh, yeah? now. You want to retire? I want to retire. You at know 50. what? Blues singers don't retire. They okay? don't retire. Let me just tell you that right, right. now. I don't but know I, if you I, knew what you were signing but, up for. I'm not but, a blues singer. Well, what are your rhythm I'm, and I'm, you I'm trying a, to change? I'm a Southern soul. You do all <laughs> what you you can do it all. Don't blame me. <laughs> you did switch blues. it up. I, I didn't see you switch I it up. Sing blues. Because you, you know I was man. listening. I was waiting on another. I remember, I, and I, I don't know. You gonna know the name of the album? But after that that whole album, that first one, the next one. You didn't even go back that route. You right. went straight into uh, like a, a a rhythm. Right. It, it was I, soul. I it was more, more yeah, soulful. It was more soulful. Sure was. And so like like that's kind of like getting a lot of patterns from like brother R. Kelly. Okay. How he do? R. Kelly always wanted you to define his music as you don't know what I'm fit to do. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? But just enjoy the ride. You know what I'm saying? One minute when you thought R. Kelly was fit to do a bump and grind, he did a bump and grind. You waiting on him to do another bump and grind album? This time R. Kelly he dropped a gospel. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. Go wherever you want to go. Gospel, next thing you know, he just went to the 1930s. Yeah, but but it was the the objective for what he was trying to portray to the image of the audience was you shouldn't put a labeling on music. Period. Yeah, our music is universal. That's right. You know what I'm saying? That's it, right. It, it's the way you perceive and take it. That's mm. exactly of right. how you enjoy. Like we can't tell you how to enjoy a song. Exactly. Because you might enjoy it. In a different way than I. Exactly. Wasn't even thinking about it, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, it might yeah. remind you of somebody or take you back to a time when you was, you know, growing up with your mom and pops back in mm -hmm. later, uh, mm -hmm. earlier years. Or it might have reminded you of something yesterday. It might, might have reminded you of some idiot that pulled over in front of you in the 100. store and you ready to 100. shoot at him or something. 100. Yeah, like, 100. You know? So that's, that's what we've it. been trying to do with the music is release it. And, and and bring variety of cultures of music and let the audience enjoy it instead of DJs, program directors, record companies picking what they want us to be. You know what I'm saying? And trying to put a label on us. You know what I'm saying? It ain't. It's like a, it's like it's a free. Uh, right. It's a freedom. It's a freedom mm -hmm. yeah. that mm -hmm. that the audience had the right to. Like me, I never cut for radio. Yeah. I never cut not one song in my life but, for but, radio. But, it was like you knocked the dough down. Like, I know. Uh, it it like, broke like, barriers. I'm going to be honest with you. I felt like when it first jumped off for you, like the older cats wasn't really accepting you. They wasn't. You know what I'm saying? You see what it I'm was saying? only a hand few that, yeah, that yeah. really gave me blessings. Like Johnny One of my Taylor. partners, one of the, one, Go DJ Fresh, he came. He said mm -hmm. the same thing because I said, I got Sir, I got Sir, Sir Charles Jones coming on. He said, Man, you know what, man? When that man first came in the game, man, they really was hating on. They him. were hating, but he they said, just didn't understand. The they didn't understand because they felt like you probably was changing the whole situation. Right, changing though. the situation, and like now, it's starting to change again. You got newcomers coming, like 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 Big Pokey. You okay? Got, yeah, uh, yeah. I heard Tucker. he was in town just this right. week. Right, the Tucker's coming on board now, and these kids got like a new, different flavor of music. Like Tucker is a Cajun boy. A lot of people don't know he's black. Yeah. But well, if you talk to Tucker right now, he's got a Cajun the accent. accent. And mm -hmm. his music and his culture is totally a different thing. It's a, it's a swing vibe. Mm -hmm. right. And at the same time, he got this young face. Yeah. Just the way I did when I came out. Mm -hmm. And all these women fall in love with it. And he got this swing vibe and a Cajun voice at the same time with a little bit of 808 knock to give you a little mm -hmm. hip hop okay. with it in one big pot of gumbo. And the audience love, love this it. boy. They love him to death. You know what I'm saying? To me, he can't sing worth a damn. <laughs> but <laughs> they love him. They love him, man. And 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 it, the, the the beats and the the rhythm of his music, man, just take mesmerize you him and mesmerize you. Take you to a New Orleans Lafayette yeah. type of type of feel. Southern soul yeah. feel with a little Chicago's two stepping. Yeah, inside yeah. Of it. So the boy got five different variations of powerful entity. Within him, and he's going to grow and take over this scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And take it and you see to it. another. You can see, I it. see it. You see yourself but in, in I the see way you came in the game, and Tucker. And the thing is, I wanted to open up doors for him. Okay. To not to have to go through a lot of the hatred that I went that you through. went through. Uh, I don't think that was good for you, though. Him. Some that was good. It, 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 it made you have some tough skin. Up. Yeah, it made me have tough skin, yeah. and it fueled me up to. Try harder, man. You know what I'm saying? And I just didn't want them to feel what I had to feel to get inside of it because it was hard, man. And even breaking into Dallas. Yeah. It was a lot of people were saying, uh, yeah, if I don't like that kid, uh, Sir Child John. I'm like, dude, meet me first to see <laughs> if you like me or not. Yeah, you going by 
something that you heard somebody say. I told him, my mom always said assumption is the mother of all screw-ups in life. All right, now. I said, you probably just busting up a relationship. And then it was hard for us to come break the Dallas market, and we had to go to the streets. Yeah. And really go in, and, and that kind of like, you know what? It should have never mattered about no radio and TV, no way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm, for the rest of my life, I'm going to service the fans and give them what they want. And okay. I don't care about cutting for radio. No, I think, I, I, man, listen, man, I think you did it right. right. I'm going to be honest with you because there's a freedom in it, and people love you. Right. And, and they love, and, and, and it don't matter. It, it, they didn't put a stipulation on the way that they loved right. you either. And, it, and that's why it don't matter even when you was, when everybody else was dealed up or whatever, it seemed as if you was independent because you was in a lane by yourself. Right, I was in a lane real. by myself. Even and, and the record company didn't know what no, to do. No, 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 you was different. Blues, you, you was know? different. I'm like, I don't care where you stay. They didn't know me. what I'm to do with him. I'm going to find me a fan base, mm -hmm. and I'm going to work. Mm -hmm. I knew what to do with him, though. And, and just enjoy <laughs> my music. You know what I'm saying? I knew what to do with him. So I'm going to let you ask some questions because I'm taking over. You know, I'm a I, fan. I, I, I hey, see man, that. I done went in. I see you. I done went in. the key questions that everybody was talking I done forgot you was over here. I was just letting you go. I was just letting you go. Come on, baby. No, because, like, I didn't know anything about Blues or Sir Charles or anybody until I came here to the States because I'm from Jamaica. Okay. Yeah. So when I came here and he introduced me, he introduced me to you first of yeah, all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then yeah. you know Johnny Taylor and you know yeah, all yeah, of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I fell in love with blues. I'm like, yeah, she did. Right, right. She took I'm, it. I'm hey, like, took to it. I'm like, there's so many people music, don't know. You know what I'm saying? And they don't know it. It's, it's relaxing. A, it's, it makes you swing. It makes you dance. It makes you change whatever mood that you're in. It right. can make you cry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh you yeah. Know what I'm saying? It can make oh, yeah. so many It makes you laugh. It makes you. I'm like, did they just say that? Like, what? Yeah, you can't put it on at certain times. You right. can't be going through something. You're going through you something. You put it on. Sir Charles going to get you. It's going to be a, it's <laughs> gonna be a problem, man. <laughs> that just can't let go. You put it on at the wrong time or something that happened time, in your man. life. Yeah. You've been in love. It can either man. take you out or make you stronger. Whichever one right. you're going to do. You got a stomach ache and you, you can't fix it. And one thing, yeah. <laughs> I love Friday and I love to put people on the spot. Uh-oh. <laughs> Can you give me a little bit of Friday right this now? This song is dedicated. Oh, man. Listen at that. Come on with it, man. Let me get it. Let me get it. Come on. Give me a little bit, man. To all the workers that are work nine to five. All right, now. <laughs> hey, Boy, that, 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 that was good. Feel, Boy, yeah, you that, went that, in, man. Yeah. Hey, man, that man got it, man. Oh, Say, man. man, easy, right? It's easy, man. You man, know what I'm saying? It's, it's a gift. It's a gift. That God gave me. It's a gift. And, man, I'm so thankful and blessed, man. I have, for 25 years, God has Bless me so much, man, too. Yeah. The things these eyes have seen, the things I've accomplished that they said a black man would never do. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I, I accomplished it easy. I'm yeah, like, yeah, man, yeah. I thought you was going to make this hard. Oh, for yeah. me. oh man. That's you know what, what I'm saying? talking about, man. So you've always wanted to be a singer from a Always, a kid, since kid. I was a baby in my diapers. You know, so I used to watch my mom and dad, you know, playing on the piano. And then my, my, my father is a, a minister. And my mother's a minister. Wow. And so I came up through the church. And and, and it was just something that naturally was inside How many of me. instruments can you play? Um, That sounds like a lot. <laughs> yeah, I don't lost count. <laughs> he you know counts. what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I would say everything, I, I can't play uh, woodwind instruments. That, wow. Like saxophones and stuff like that. But anything else, if I pick it up, I could pull a song out of it. Mm. So uh, was it male male waiters? Male waiters. That's what was, what was, what was my was, best friend. I know man. you. I, I know you. So how did you end up meeting him? And, and I know he was a big influence in your life. Yeah, big influence. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, it goes. It go back so far, man. Uh, like when male waiters came out and got hot, Mel had to get the influence from somebody too. A lot of people don't know Mel was a DJ. Okay. So music was already blessed and gift inside of him, and he opened up the door. For me, okay, to be able to get into the system, him and Willie Clayton, okay, gave me like Willie Clayton is the guy that gave me my actual break. Wow! Like when I came and I was a, like a local singer back in Birmingham, Alabama, singing in nightclubs and stuff. Willie Clayton just was visiting uh, to come go out and and see some of his friends, and just so happened seeing me and another two guys background singing. In a nightclub, struggling, singing for $40 a night. Okay. And he came and told us we was good. And he'd be like, man, I, you know what? I might got an opportunity for you, brothers. I'm going to take you guys uh, to meet Mr. Marvin Cease. Mm. And I'm like, wow. She told me that. She said, yeah. take us Marvin Cease. I told you. Boy, oh that boy, that used to get with it, man. Oh, man, the candy liquor? The candy liquor. Oh, man, and, and when he took us, we... 
uh, sang the song for Marvin Seath, and Marvin fell in love with our voices. Mm -hmm. Really? And invited us to come sing on his album. And we went to the world's famous, fabulous Muscle Shows, Alabama. Okay. To Muscle Shows Studios. If you get to history, every song that you ever see, that's one of your classic favorites from Aretha Franklin to yeah. Wilson Pickett. Yeah, yeah. To Johnny Taylor, Bobby Blue Bland, Clarence yeah. Carter, Denise Mil LaSalle, Little Milton, yeah. uh, uh, Etta James. Yeah. Like, like when you've seen the Cadillac Records movie, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. All of them great hits that you've seen, Highland Wolf and, 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 and Etta James yeah, and, yeah. and, and uh, Muddy Waters mm -hmm. and stuff. All of that music was recorded at Muscle wow. Shows Studios. Really? Okay. Yeah. Okay. And this place got a history about it, bro, where it's a spiritual thing. When you step foot in Muscle Shows, you, it, it takes off. It's like the Bermuda Triangle. Mm. When you go, bro, you just you feel, feel a you peaceful feel vibe. Mm -hmm. uh, your heart rate levels out. It's like anything wrong with you starts to heal. Okay. And your ears and your hearing comes in a different type of mode. You can hear the water and the stream a fourth of a mile here. You can hear that jaybird right here. You can hear those trees blowing right there. Okay. Wow. You can just hear somebody just curse somebody out <laughs> two miles that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And for some reason, all of this magnetic energy settles in this one little country city. Mm, mm. And even the electricity, the lights, when you flick a light on in there, the, the light bulb, brightens up to a certain beauty to where the magnetic energy of that electricity that just went through that current made that light do what, what it, it was supposed to do. That's right. So all of that electricity and that energy, when this man, Rick Hall, built muscles, Muscle Shoals Studios, all of that energy traveled through the circuitry all of right. the equipment that he built and he built it with his hands and used that energy. And everybody would always be like, the record companies from Atlantic Records, everybody would be like, I'll sign this artist in here, but on one condition. You got to go down to this little country town called Muscle Shows, and I will not sign it unless you go down there and let them record that music because you'll never get another you sound. sound like that. Yeah. Like wow. that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go back to your Johnny Taylors. Yeah, yeah. And listen at. He's going to make me look. Right. Go look. <laughs> look at me look. <laughs> you're going to be able to see the vault from Stax, where Johnny did his music a lot. And you're going to listen at the vault from his muscle show sound that Malico gave him. It's going to go It's two different sounds. And you're going to see, like, in, in Stax, like, a lot of the mixes was thin mm -hmm. that you heard. When you see the muscle show sound, you're going to see the classy, the big... Johnny Taylor where this guy with this beautiful sound comes out of a chest and they made his sound come out of his chest and spread Brilliant. and yes, give sir. you this multi-million dollar voice and stuff. Muscle Shows just gives it to you. And you, and you loved it. You, you, I loved, loved it. it just to be able to do the background vocals for Marvin Cease and hear the potential of my voice come mm -hmm. through that type of blessed circuitry made me knew that this is what I want to do and I know how I would sound. Well, this before, let me ask you this, and mm -hmm. it's going to be a little bit backwards. Go back. Was, was this was before you was working at that furniture store? It was round about at the same time. <laughs> so you I was working at the, at the furniture, furniture store, store and going over and, there. And going and doing the local gigs <laughs> and working at the furniture store kept my muscles. That kept, kept me in a bodybuilding status because mm. I'm picking up big heavy couches every yeah. day. Yeah. And at the same time, you can go to this nightclub. And put your little vest on and everything and go out and be flexing. And I think back then was we making forty dollars a night, so we ain't making no money. All that is to pay your light bill from, from your singing gig. So you better be trying to So that you had to get that furniture store and, right. Yeah, the, the furniture store paid a little bit too. But not enough. To pay all of the bills. Okay. So what was the objective? Okay, I made a little bit of money to get the light bill and this paid, but I need to go make a hustle in the club to get the rent paid. That's so true. if I went to the club, 
I took got my forty dollars, but you better be flexing your muscles, looking good, and see if you can keep some of them cute girls that's making them good paychecks. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. And have you some of them to the side, and that was your bread and butter. Mm, you know what I'm mm. saying? So you kind of had to be a player a little bit. And Dapper Devin there. And, and, he uh, says some of them, not even just one of them, but right, some of right, them. Right. Too, so. Some of them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It, it was the thing back then. Right, you know what I'm right. saying? So let me ask you a question. How, out of all the awards you've ever received, which mm -hmm. one was your, is your pride and joy? My pride and joy oh, is. I, I, I'm almost going to answer that for you, but I'm going to let you No, 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 no I no. want you to do it because you, you're <laughs> a great history star. No, I was thinking about the B.B. King Award. That's what I was The B.B. King too. Award no? is, is my second. Oh, okay. really? I can need to hear okay. the first, because I would have thought that would have been the one, and man. B.B. King, man, wow. I met another guy that knew B.B. King a uh, few weeks ago oh, here, he so it, it's a killing. great soul, man, and a lot of things I had that he taught me is things that I'm telling you now. Yeah, yeah. Of about keep, the studio. About and the all. studio, and, but B.B. was more of a, he want to talk to you about life. Okay. He's going to be like, hey, hey, son, how you doing? So, right? <laughs> He's going to look at you <laughs> first, you know what I'm saying? He's analyzing you, he's studying you're um, taking care of your health. That's going to ask you that. If you have pops, I'm taking care of my health. Um, you're putting any money away. He going to ask you the politics size. You know, him. He want it right. Tyrone Davis, Little Milton. They all ask you the politics size. You better be talking about politics with them. They don't want to hear about nothing else. They don't care about what awards you won this week. Nothing. nothing. How are you off the stage? Exactly. Are you taking wow. care of your exactly. life? You know what I'm saying? Wow. And whenever I got in trouble... That's crazy. I heard from Little Milton, and whenever Little Milton and Tyrone Davis call me personally, I've done something wrong. Mm. Man, you got so much favor. You naming it. You yeah, name dropping right. something, boy. Man. You had you had a uh, real, real relationship. Yeah, real relationship. When, they, when wow. they care about you, right? Like that. They care about you. And if Marvin Cease calls you, you really done screwed up. If Marvin <laughs> Cease calls you on the phone and be like, uh, son, first of all, how are you? I already know then. <laughs> He Let's knows cut something. to the chase. He knows something. But he, like when he called me, he done had to make a couple of calls up to New York or down to uh, Roger Redding's uh, agency, which was our booking agent that books all of the, the music for us for us to do concerts. It's Roger Redding's. That's Otis Redding's oldest brother. Okay. That was our agent. And it still is to this day. When he called, when Marvin C's called, Marvin done had to make phone calls and clear up some Something that just happened terrible. And mm. usually I was wrong. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, you was a youngster. I was a youngster. Oh, you, you know was a saying? youngster. You had to do it you know like that. Saying? I did it, and, 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 and it, it's, it's awfully bad <laughs> when Marvin have to call you, and you might as well just be starting to thank him then because he just had to go through some serious politics stuff to probably keep you out of jail. Oh, man. Or keep mm -hmm. lawsuits off of you. Yeah. Or somebody's daughter. Uh, and say the, something. The, said something. Said something. Daddy mad about this or somebody for the kid. Yeah, something, anything, you know. So whenever you got them calls from him or you got them calls from the other living legends like that, man, you know, it was, it was just good. And B.B. King, I loved to always talk to him. That award. But, uh, when, that award. This award. Which, say which one of the awards? Yeah, that's what I was man, saying. He gave it to me. The 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 BB King the BB King award with, with his own hands but but no, which one was the number one I thought BB King award was no but he said that's he his number two. My number, two my number one award is the Sweet Willie Mitchell award okay that's that's Pops Mitchell out of Memphis Tennessee now remember what you were saying about the the Muscle Show Studios yeah 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 yeah, yeah. in Memphis Pops Mitchell got the biggest studio. Okay. Inside of Memphis, then that's responsible for your your Al Green. Okay. And stuff, and and he the one discovered Al Green, and made all of these classic records inside of that studio. Wow. So, me coming up through the tutelage of the Memphis sound, I got a chance to know Pop Mitchell's grandchildren. Wow. Which wow. run the studio now. Okay. Which is our uh, Boo Mitchell. Okay. And they gave me the blessings to let me learn things about the way they actually recorded and did that stuff. Mm. Really? Back so they, in the they, day, they break, you know okay, they broke in. Shows never gave me the secrets. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's for I'm grateful, grateful. thankful mm -hmm. to Pop Mitchell. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for opportunity, the opportunity to touch this stuff. You can touch an actual board that the Rolling Stones had. 
yeah. and stuff. And he was like, touch it. He was like, oh, and, and that's interesting to him. And he see that look in your eyes. Pop Mitchell see that look in your eyes. He going to sit value. down with you and teach you. Wow. How wow. to operate that board. He be like, son, I'm right here. Was this channel? He said, you see that cigarette stain right there? He said, uh, Al Green put that right there. Or he might be like right here. Albert King did this right here. And and uh, um, like certain stuff, like see what that, like how you got that entrepreneur hat. Yeah. Say if I threw that hat over there and you'd be like, you know what? I'll never move that hat. That's what he would do things. Ever again. Because you will always want everybody to know that Sir Charles Jones actually threw that, that hat, hat over there. there. That's, le that's a legendary corner. <laughs> so, man, you were like, wow, Albert King. This is his blanket wow. in here. You know what I'm saying? Wow, God. That's, that's what Isaac Hayes did. Yeah, 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 you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You be mesmerized. And he, yeah. he take you through there, man, and let you see how they actually did this stuff. And it trains you. It makes your hunger more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just, just, yeah. Mm -hmm. man, that, to know that. To know. Wow, I'm loved by Living wow. legends that man. nobody can ever take that away. Can't from take me, it away. You know hey, I mean? some, hey, the names you done put on me today, uh, really. Man, I mean, all those guys. I looked. I, I mean, I listened to those guys my entire life, man. Oh god. And, man. and, and I'm talking about for you to be able to be able to connect with those guys. To that's, connect. That's man. another level, man. That's a whole, and that's a, that's inspiration in itself. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Did you? Oh, have, you, oh, you, oh, I'm ready now. No, go ahead. I, okay. I, I, well, I'm, just, I'm, I'm just. I'm just. Oh, I'm just going to talk about the 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 he liked to cook. Yeah. Love it. See? Well, I, I'm ready over oh, here. You know I'm going to You know I got to invite y'all over. So, so, so y'all yeah, can yeah, come so you, and I mean, eat with us, man. Like what that, do you man? like to cook? You know, she can cook too. Everything, man. You know what I'm saying? You know what? You I, must have a specialty, though. My specialty is soul food. Love it. Love it to death, can man. Cook Love it. oxtails, gravy, macaroni and cheese. Beef, have you ever crabs. had Jamaican oxtails? Can he cook, That's man? That's how I make them. You Can he cook? Right? No, no, don't just let him come on my show. I don't need that over here. No, I can't cook. I can burn. He's like, you put money on him. Put money on it. Against me? Against her. Oh, you crazy. Oh, I, I got money for you. I, I, I smoke I, her like a marijuana I, I, I would love to see that cook. <laughs> <laughs> we'll bring the dishes and, and, and we'll, hey, we'll meet up. That's the end this okay. girl career. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to love this, man. I'm, I'm, and I'm, know I'm, what we're going to do? What? We're going to cook all Jamaican cuisines. Okay. And you're going to And you gonna, and you gonna, and you gonna beat me. I'm going to smoke you. Ooh, I like to hear this. I want to see this because I don't believe this nigga. I'm gonna, like, that's why he messed whole, up. In the whole this Jamaican nigga department. messed up today. He hear y'all. In the whole Jamaican department. And, and I'm going hey, and, and to tell Derek if you lose. We bet not. Man. We <laughs> can't not. come out. What's the name? We uh, can't come over there. Come yeah. on. <laughs> Peter Tosh's niece is the uh -huh. one who trained me okay. how to make Jamaican food. Oh, okay. To put the real thing. The real Everything deal, Jamaican she taught you. Everything Jamaican. We gonna we gonna we down gonna, to the stew peas. We gonna make it all. Oh, we okay. gonna make it all from he, rum he cake on down. Bad boy. This is, we yes. ain't scared. We ain't yes. nervous. Yes. Yes. We ain't never scared. I ain't scared. Yeah. Yeah, my wife is not gonna bag down <laughs> to you because you come on this show with this madness. And that I don't know who that dude is I, over I'll there. I take thought it he was easy on her if you want yeah. me to. <laughs> <laughs> so so let and me. No have, American it, dishes. No American dishes. No American dishes. So so do you do you steal? Desire to do some work with uh, DJ Quick. I love that dude, man. I know, but do you, did hero. you ever? You never met him. I never met that. dude. I met him. He on one of them pictures up man, there. Bro, Me and him was at the airport bro. together. You have earned a head. Are you seat serious? At the table, pal. I can man, figure it out. Dude, DJ Quick, bro. I know that everybody. They they love Dr. Dre's and and stuff. Yeah, yeah. They Quick definitely love Dre up there. Is a special in Cali. kind of talent. He's a special kind of gift, bro. He got he DJ Quick. Got that muscle shows thing inside of his body, and everything that comes out is so electrifying. And you like this sound? Hey, what Mike like Tyson said, "Poetic." <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? His I song, hear you, brother. His funk, the thing he drive with, man. Just he comes up with elements to don't supposed to go together, but wow, he Put just it made this just hit. Man, I want to try oh, to see God. if we can't reach out to that boy. Hey, man, that I'd love to see. Hey, I'd love to see you. Man, get, if I so if you get a beat or something from him, you gonna be like this. If is I it. get a beat from Quick, bro, it's fit to blow up like sweet chat. You know it's gonna go in. It's gone. I ain't got to do nothing but just saying. You gonna put that whip God, on God, it? I'm gonna put the whip on it, bro, because he gonna make sure the track covered. <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you already know, man. DJ Quick. Oh man, man, I thought you had something in your bag, but I got something else for you too. Mm -hmm. I wanted to ask. It was a couple of questions I wanted to make sure I got out. You worked at French Quarters for seventy five dollars a night. A seventy five dollars a night. That's where sure remember we was talking about mm -hmm. where, where you come from the furniture store. You go to the French Quarters, and, and it started at forty a night, 
and and the, the upgrade to seventy five dollars a night, you have really earned veterans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You said know? party, but now <laughs> what about what about um? It was uh, it was something. I, w- I was going to ask you about your brother Frank and Dunny. They still still doing still, they're, still they're looking doing out, like, like, doing their like, thing. Like, like Frank, um, uh, he he retired with the Marines, and something he do with um, you know, he be driving them FedEx trucks. And stuff, and so he he went and got FedEx trucks. My brother Donnie do landscaping, okay, and and be on top of them houses, cleaning them gutters, and yeah, and and he, man, all around maintenance, man. You know what I'm saying? And that helped me too. And, and my time with my brother showing me how to do that kept me kind of like in shape, okay. Hey, this okay. is a pretty busy story, ain't it, man? Yeah, man. I mean, Everybody I think, right? I think, yeah. This is. I'm gonna be honest with you, man. We are. Uh, well, we you got a popular story. Like, well, look I'm, at the quality of items you got. I'm gonna be honest with you, you man. You and and, and, and a lot of it's been here for uh, going on 15 years, man. Man. So we've been we've been really really you know blessed to be here that and, long. And I, yeah, I, a lot of stores don't last that right. long. I admire it, man, because a lot of varieties of taste. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That you got there. Like I don't seen some items that you got here. That I've seen people pull up at the Grammy Awards. Exactly. And have and, on. And, and, and that's that's the re- the reason we do it the way we do it is because, like I said, we want to have something selective. Right. Like and, and, and we want to be able to put some one thing I didn't like about different stores was the fact of how one would uh see everybody else wearing the same thing. Right. So and, I, what I do, I limit what I get in a way that I can put it strategically on the individual. That's what got me, you know. And what so saying? that's that's where I we at. So when it. I do it, I do it to do it for you. Right. I do it for you. Yeah, so so because I don't want to keep going down the street and and that thing. You, know, you I see look the same the dude. Exactly, yeah. exactly, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Where well, you it, and it, I seen that two weeks ago. You know, I took that outfit <laughs> and threw it away. It, it's horrible. It's horrible. I'm like, he got on the same one, even the same size. I, see, man, and I, we compliment each other because I love the customer service end right. of it. I yeah. love to be able to tailor yeah. to you, find out what you want, where so you go, everything. Like, like, I, I, see how you you made me so comfortable. Oh, she when can go. When we was in there, you were like, she can go. You were feeding, I'd be like, let me see what he like. Right. And you like, okay, you like this kind of stuff. And she started pulling stuff down. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Get and she's like, don't too. worry about it. I'll write it down. And when we fly out of here and come back, I bring everything that you want. Yeah, yeah. Like, right. you know me? I'm going to like, have you right. Don't show me nothing. Just I'm going to get it to put you. Put the box on the truck. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to make sure, you and, know. And I'm pulling it out and putting it on. And it's going to hit the town. That's rock, it, man. You know Thank, hey, so, so what, what, what would you say, and I know you say it's some young boys in it, but what would you say to a young person that wanted to get into the blues lane in, in today's world? Right, right. Today's a brother who ain't, he don't know, he, he really don't, he really don't have a way. It's, 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 it's hard, bro, to get into it. First, I would tell him to get a couple of books and study the business part. Like, mm-hmm. if study you study the part. business part and tackle that first, Everything else will start coming a little bit easier because you kind of like know how to go open up doors for yourself okay. without closing the door mm-hmm. at the same time. Sometimes you can you can walk up to a situation and talk your way out of it, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying, by mm-hmm. not b- being unknowledgeable about how you're supposed to enter the game with this thing, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. The biggest mm-hmm. thing in the industry is knowing when to shut up and when to talk. That's it. Exactly. That's it. You know what I'm saying? And, and when to be it humble, you know what I'm saying? And when to... Give a little bit of aggression. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like certain things. Like when, when my first artist uh, walked up to me, and uh, his name is Bad News. Remember, she was like, yeah, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, I'm going like, to oh, get him on hey. the show. She was like, what kind of name? And they got a name? hell of a name. I got to have him. I got to have him on the there. show. I'm going to figure it out. I, you know, I love these young right. niggas. Them the ones I like. And, and, and oh, you, you I, hey, love hey, him, oh, man. oh, you know I'm going to get him. I'm the one. You know, I, this is what I do. So it's, when he's sitting in that seat, I'm going to flip on hey, him. Hey, no. hey, flip, that nigga went from blue. I want to see what's going on in his head. And so he walked up on me, man. And he knew how to be humble. That's it. And he knew how to talk and when not to talk. And at the time he walked up to me, I was highly irritated. Yeah, yeah. And I had just stopped drinking. I mean, my brother was like, man, I got this kid I need you to meet. I was like, didn't I just tell you? I, I ain't got time to with shit. You, no. I don't want to hear nothing right now. And he he forced it on me and he brought him. And he came in and then the kid came in and was humble and I'll never forget what something he said to me, just calm me down. Wow. And I'm like, I'm going to see what you got, man. I'm like, I don't want to hear no hip-hop rap. Yeah, yeah. Talking about no blues and yeah. no southern soul, man. Yeah. And I said, but I'm going to hey, listen to what you got. So he played this first song and let me hear this beat. 
that he did, and it had hip hop mixed in with what mm -hmm. I do. Wow. I'm like, that's kind of neat, but you still yeah, didn't want to give it up right there. I didn't want to give it up. No, right no, then. no, that nigga got to work. And then it worked on that me. That nigga is not going to come up in there and just slide right I'm on like, up. Like, I was like, you got dues to pay with me, kid. <laughs> so I told him, I, I'm like, I'm going to test him. I said, I'm going to see how hungry I I said, I'll tell you what, man. Come back next week. Bring me $1,000. That's yeah, idea. Yeah. If yeah. you serious. And I said, uh, I'll put up some vocals on it for you. This man showed up back next week with thousand dollars. Boy, that's what I'm talking about. He hungry. He hungry. And took me out to dinner and everything. Wow. I said, boy, he on his way. <laughs> that's all it took. That's really all right. He really had about the money with him. I just wanted to test him. Yeah, yeah, to yeah. See, was he really serious about it? So we that's went in good. there. And, and, uh, I had already heard, remembered that beat he had played. Yeah. When he played the beat for me that 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 prior week, I had already wrote the you hook already, in my you already, head. You already got. You know what I'm saying? And we came up with this song about ride or die. Okay. And it's about, he did a love story inside of the song of, really, I, to me, I think he, what he, he was talking about your girl, I, I, I feel, in, yeah. inside of the song that, yeah. you know, she, she had been with him behind his, behind, you know, had his back all of these years throughout the times of when he on the street was hustling yeah. and got off the street hustling and trying mm -hmm. to take a chance at this music thing. And, and, you know, you just been there for me. You've been ride or die for me. And I, so I came up with the ride or die thing. It struck him like lightning. And he and he just came off the top of his head and started spitting his testimony uh how he good he got it with his girl. Wow. And bro, it blew up overnight. Wow. wow. And and we just released his album and he out touring now. Well, I can tell you right now, we're going to yeah. get him on the show. Yeah, we got a day yeah. coming with him. Yeah, as long as y'all yeah, get him back over here, because I got questions we for the young man. We, we get, I got I, some hey, real silly questions. Boy, out of Alabama, ain't it? I want you to. You out of Alabama. Boy, out of Alabama. I want you ain't to. Ain't that something? It, I tell you what, you better be ready when I put you up on this hot seat. <laughs> you know, I done had a few to come up in here and thought they had a conversation. Hey, I'm old, hey, man. Bro, I want you to, See the grain, I want you to drill him, bro, like <laughs> one of them old, old school drills. Yes, sir. I want to know what he really know about this rap, because you better know some history about that. what's going on with this rap music and the blues. I'm not yeah, going to play with hey, it. Hey, bro, get, get him for both variations. <laughs> he don't want to come say he's dealing with hey, it. I want him so, drilled. So the thing I say about you, man, um, you you definitely blessed us, man, and and – and, and to be honest with you, man, I'm looking for that new music anytime you come. I want you to keep that going. I'm talking about this retiring stuff. Bro, look, you, I'm losing. One that, that, listen, man. Yes, yes. But you know they all do that. They, they all do that. So. I didn't come right oh, back. Oh, they all do that. They, he ain't right going to stay out long. You no, know what I want to do? Don't retire. My thing is, <laughs> what you doing now? You Chilling, know, we just, talked about this yeah, yeah, yeah. I love yeah. the podcast. And yeah, thing, it's nice. And I done really got off into filming. Oh yeah, you yeah, oh it's you put some fun, hey you drop jewels on me man uh, like like you you talk to talk because I'm like how he know about this right man, you know you, I got the really best got studio, it bro. You know man, man I know you killing it man so and, I just thank God that, that that pretty much you 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 doing your thing man you you versatile you're able to change up I was gonna ask you about being you know that you came in the game and you know I, it, my space was kind of around and and then these wow, social media wait a minute space, yeah 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 I'm rocking with you. You know, and, and so we waving on up through MySpace, and then, bam, you know, Facebook come, and what was the other tag? There was tag some other. So, so you remember tag? Tag back. I ain't going to tell you. You hey, go on there now. because I got it's in back. trouble it's with tag so back. many times. I'm like, I'm supposed to be tag. on here networking. It'll get you in trouble tag. right now. Yeah. Right now, it's I'm really out there bad. Don't get on tag. Working. <laughs> For uh, music and stuff, and I'm on here meeting the women. <laughs> yeah, they going, and it's like the love. It, hey, it's like a hideout right now. I like it, that. You, you, they don't even know you're over there. Oh, my it, goodness. It, but they over there. And it'd be somebody right up under your nose. <laughs> and she'd be like, wait a minute. I'm right downstairs, downstairs from you. Right down the street. I'm like, oh, my God. So come on over. What I was going to ask you is, so so how, how was that transition into these uh, social media waves? And is it something that, 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 that you feel is beneficial for it's what very, you do now? I think it's very beneficial. It's... Being an old school head, it, it takes some time to get used to that. Oh, yeah, yeah. You got to work like at it. I didn't like it at first. You know what I'm saying? And that's what moved me here to Dallas. It's a company here called Music Access. That's a dis distribution company. Yeah. And when I met him, his name is Robert Gonzalez. He's a, a, a Latino Mexican brother. Okay. And I'm, I'm like, man, you don't know nothing about no blues, man. And when he started doing like, talking like, man, you naming all of the like, you know. greats and the legends you know. and stuff and his history. And, yeah. And, so I'm like, 
this is weird. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I well, Hispanic got to like know it like that. Dude, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hispanic dude. So he like Charles. He like man. If you came to Dallas, the, with the powerful entities that you know, combined with what I know, you would be a force to be reckoned with. Mm-hmm. And then that interests me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because mm-hmm. I'm in Atlanta, Georgia. So I'm like. Everything in Atlanta, you gonna scrape and work for it. Yeah, 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 yeah. And right next door, it might be next door. One of these is next door. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Not here. Yeah, you can go so much land and opportunity here to go build businesses and entities for yourself that nobody has. And when I came here, he wanted, he was interested in my old school way of the muscle shows thing and and where I've been and how to tutelage artists and how to properly train songwriters and a team of engineers to properly give an artist what he needs to go in the studio and come out with a wow. hit. Wow, wow. And everything from artist development training, teaching them how to talk, yeah. how to walk, yeah. things to do, things yeah. not to do. Yeah. He was interested in that, and I was interested in the fact that with his distribution company, he knows about... The Twitters, the Instagrams, yeah, 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 yeah. the uh, the the YouTube, YouTube the video, the video yeah. Spotify, stuff yeah, like yeah, he yeah. got direct master New York type of connections directly with all of these entities. That's what's up. Wow. So I'm like, that's, oh my that's, goodness, that's what you need. So I'm like, I don't have to work so hard now. Yeah. you know what I'm saying. That's what you need. And he gave me those blessings. He'd be like, Charles, if you bless us with what I need from you and come here to Dallas, I'll give you fifty percent of this company. Damn. And he said, everything is access to you. That's, That's what's up. That's only God. I said, That's you, only God. I said, you That's got only a God. deal. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You did the right thing. I was just happy to get you to Dallas because I hey, know bro. now I got you here with me. Hey, bro. So, hey, hey, I'm, I'm in I, Dallas. Did, hey. did you ever think you'd end up in Dallas? Never thought I would end up in Dallas. I always felt like this was just the greatest place to come visit and go home. No, no, <laughs> no, no. We, we got an open now, lane here for you, baby. I'm so comfortable here. And it's great. I started moving a lot of my businesses here. I moved the film company here. I moved the podcast. Uh, we got two major studios here now. Okay. And I moved my food business here. That was rough at first mm-hmm. because when I moved, the pandemic first started. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay. So I, 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 I got all of these concession food trailers, and I'm like, man, I, you just bought three of these trailers and just spent about 180 grand. Yeah. And here they come talking about a pandemic, and you can't put these trailers to work. So I got nervous. And they still parked in a storage unit right now. Wow. And never been fired up, never been turned on, never been cooked in, Mm. never been nothing. So I'm here as an entrepreneur wanting to merge with people here in Dallas that could help me put those things to work. And I don't mind breaking bread. Call me. Carla and Derek. Derek. Yeah, I, I got partners. Got one, one of them need to be a Jamaican cuisine. Oh, yeah. Well, no, yeah, we, we, got, we, we got partners. We got Jamaican we, food. We, we got about to link you in because my partner, he owned a restaurant in California, but he's here and he's trying to do something. Yeah, bro, and I, he, he I good. need help with that. Man. I got you. you, know you, you and God just put this together. And man. I, That's I was all crying it could be. at first of all. Oh, what's going on? Why didn't you just warn me to keep the $180,000? I could have put that in the bank. Yeah, and, and, yeah, and man, yeah. Just sitting there. When you see the trailers, man, you're going to freak out. You're going to be like, yeah. I can't believe. No, you. no, no. We we about to work them trailers. Man, let's do it. Bro, we about know. to work them trailers. You ain't got to worry about that no more. That's over with. Now, all we, uh, hey, all I got to do is say the word. And, right. and the brother owner, he been doing it for 20 some odd years. And, and you he, know something and, else y'all don't got here, What's bro? that? Chicago style Polish sausages. See, look, this man be cooking. We Chicago, don't. We don't. We, don't. And we, we was inside town. town. We had some in We had some in You know how easy that is to prepare? And the biggest thing with restaurants is time. Time, mm-hmm. yeah. Of how quick can you get these people their food and get them up out of that line so exactly. you can yeah. keep fresh yeah. money coming yeah. in. Yeah, yeah. A Polish already being prepared Yeah, yeah. over there. So by the time somebody come up and order the food, it don't take nothing but 15 seconds to put a, a sausage well, and some sauteed onions. cooking. He, onion. be cooking. he be cooking by now. By the time you walk to that side there, I'm going to hang your polish. Yeah, get, yeah, yeah. get out of the way so we can get we can get another we can get more people in. And right. those sautéed onions and sweet peppers and that butter sauce will draw in Instantly. a smell, bro. You scared? And, and, you and, nervous? And draw no. people okay. in. No. Okay. I got a question since you're such a you chef. You nervous? Uh, yeah, yeah. She nervous. Say, hey, nigga, where have I ain't you forgot been? about what you said. Where have you're you like- been <laughs> where you can remember tasting a meal that you can never forget? 
tasting a meal that I could never forget. Like it was so mouth wa- mouth watering. I mean, it tantalized every taste bud in your mouth. Well, you know, he he romantic with his no, cooking. No, since he's such a no, he's romantic. You said that know. somebody else prepared. Oh. Yes. Yeah, because he's romantic yes. with his cooking. He, he wants yeah, to be yeah. the best, you know, he, everything he do. But we got something for it. I would say I love uh, Margiano's. I'm going to celebrate really? like a yeah, touchdown I when I run them, it on no, you, baby. They, <laughs> what, what, a, what meal from that? I tasted a, a veal parmesan really? that they had. And it was good. I fell in love with it, and I fell in love with that place, man. <laughs> <laughs> and I, like a lot of people don't know, like Bill, they be like, like, man, it look like a piece of chicken. It's good, man. It's a baby mm-hmm. calf. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And they don't even know what they eating. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And, yeah. and uh, like I would say Maggiano's is like my favorite restaurant mm-hmm. that I would love to eat in. Oh, my goodness. They got wonderful food. Do y'all got uh, one of those here? Uh, yeah, uh, there's a Maggiano's here. One? I don't think oh, so. Man, we got to go hit that place up. Yeah. <laughs> let, 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 let me just say, man, we, we definitely, I, I definitely want to bring uh, bad news. Right. Back on the show within, within a month. Him. Hold on, within a within a month or so, I got uh, something I want to do for you too. So you got to come back with. I'll it. come back with and, it, and we and we because I'm, I'm gonna have you something anyway. You got to come back. Not far. Really. No, 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 miles no, no, no. From my home. Yeah. So so w- w- I got some set up, and when and when, when but I we get won't it set it up, and, no, no, no. and rush our track. No, no, we won't <laughs> set it up. Rush our track. But what we what we, we will can do, do whatever time. Yeah, yeah. We gonna work with you, but I gotta talk to this bad news and see see what's going on with it. Oh, I'm gonna be researching, man. That's what I do. But so I definitely I got a question. go ahead. Oh, you we still questioning? Yeah, I'm gonna shut question. it down. I got a question. Hey. The last question. Hmm? Give me your top three artists, oh, yeah. dead or alive. That are alive. Any genre. Any genre. Okay. Top three well, artists. Uh, hey, uh, this it don't matter. It, it don't matter. Any genre. Top any three genre. artists. Your ears. They hear you know music better than anybody. Mm-hmm. Listen. I, top three artists, dead or alive. Frankie Beverly. Okay, that's your one. That's that's number one. Okay, number one. that's your one. Earth, Wind, and Fire. That's your two. Clarence Carter. Clarence Carter. Well, <laughs> I've never heard of what? him. What? I'll, I'll be stroking. I'll be stroking. You done heard this. Song. That's, that's that song. Yeah, she done heard this. Song. <laughs> I'm at the house playing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, she I heard this. She done heard it. Oh yeah. Been too many years, man. So, I didn't know the name. Man, so that's that was. Give me the number one again. That's uh Frankie Beverly. Um, That's Irvin and, 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 and Clarence Carter. Carter. Man, I like that, man. Yeah. Those are the I like first that. three ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You never had those But that's the ever. first time you done had a, 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 he don't want to call himself Just Blues, because he ain't Just Blues. He's yeah. Southern. He's, He's Southern, Southern Soul. She didn't Southern know what to put Southern. on the fly. You done confused her yeah. all the way. Southern Soul. I said, no, go back it. and change it. See, let's talk Southern Soul. Yes, sir, American man. Blues. Say, man, thank you so much for coming on the show. Hey, man, man. it was a pleasure, man. And I, I consider y'all my new family. Hey, man, you're going to be know back home. Hey, we so happy to have yes. you, man. I'm going to yes, embarrass sir. your wife in the kitchen. Oh, no, we going not. at it. No, you <laughs> Say, I, man. I ain't going to have no mercy on you. Uh, oh, that's hey. okay. Hey, that's we okay. Gonna, I'm going to love this. Oh, oh, yeah. oh I'm going to get deep. And, and, and hold on. Get deep. And you can't be looking over my shoulder either. Oh, like you're still in the people. They come looking over your shoulder. For some reason, if you looking over my shoulder, I ain't gonna make that meal the right way. Because for some reason, it self consciously bothers me. It bothers you. You know what I'm saying? Stay out of the kitchen. Stay out of the kitchen, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Just go over exactly. there and just eat. Man, I'm not going to get to me how we much salt I'm shaking in this and all of that stuff. I don't measure. We don't I don't, measure. I do not we don't measure. measure. No, y'all try. Oh, it's going <laughs> down right measure. now, y'all. Man, I just Anybody got, got a I, pot? No bad. You got a pot or a pan or some spoon? We'll do it right now. No, we got to go. Hey. Boy, Say it, man. This hey, is, we gonna check have it, fun. man. It's a unique hustle, man. Boss Talk 101, man. We out. And we out.